one thing that I can tell you that I'm honestly tired of hearing about right now, it's motherfucking Mario. This Mario Run shit has been an epidemic across the entire planet, and I'm getting a little bit tired of it, man. Obviously, Mario is the face of Nintendo, so this is something I'm gonna have to deal with. I gotta suck it up, but I'm making this video to let you know that I am not pleased, okay? Mario Run is everywhere. It was downloaded 2.85 million times within the first day. Is that the first day? Those are crazy numbers, man. I didn't think it would outdo Pokemon Go, especially since it's limited to only one platform. So what's the fucking deal, Mario? You don't like niggas on Android? Is Nintendo even planning on doing an Android version of this Mario Run shit? I mean, like I said, Mario ain't exactly my favorite character in the world, but jeez, I, I thought I'd be able to ride the hype train too, but apparently not. So Google Next and 6 feet, fuck you, I guess. Nintendo doesn't care about us, man. That's what you see. No, it's not even Nintendo. It's that nigga Mario, man. This fucking plumber-ass nigga. I can't stand this boy, man. First off, let me just let you all know. Mario ain't half the man that Wario is. Or at least the old school Wario. Before he became really disgusting and shit. You know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about Wario Land 1, 2, maybe 3. Uh, uh, maybe 4. I don't know. I, 4, I wasn't crazy about. But definitely Wario Land 1 and 2. Like, that Wario is what I'm talking about, alright? Like, I can't stand this nigga Mario just because of that shit, man. Like, he's not as cool, man. I know why niggas like this nigga so much. But then again, I gotta respect him. Even though I don't like him, I'll respect him. Because I know for a fact that there will be plenty of you dudes ready to leave dislikes and a bunch of comments saying that I'm being closed-minded and ignorant, so whatever. I'll do. Not only is Mario being featured all over the place in his Apple ecosystem with Mario Run, it's also happening with his Super Mario Maker 3DS. I have it downloaded, have not played it once yet, but I know it's going to be good, genuine fun. However, there's a plane that Nintendo hijacked. They, they hijacked a plane, my boy, and they took over and started giving niggas the 3DS and forcing them to play Super Mario Maker at gunpoint. I can't make this shit up. Maybe the last part I made up. Let's take a look at this, man. You guys ain't gonna believe this shit. If you haven't not heard about it yet, then you're in for a wild ride like these people were when they were on this hijacked plane. One Southwest Airlines flight turns into digital playground featuring Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS. That's crazy, Nintendo. You know how tensions are when it comes to taking over flights. And you're gonna do something like this, man? I'm telling you, I would've fucking probably grabbed a parachute and jumped out that bitch, man. You ain't forcing me to play no goddamn Mario Maker. Especially how frustrating that game can be with some of these crazy level designs. I don't even know how the hell, you know you have to beat the course yourself before you're able to actually upload it online for other people to play. Some of these guys do this for a living. I've seen a lot of Twitch channels where they're in progress and they, they, they go at a level for like days, man. Spending three, four days trying to beat the monstrosity that they created. They own some Frankenstein shit. It began as just another typical flight, but minutes after takeoff, passengers on Southwest Flight 2484 on Wednesday, December 14th, found themselves immersed in the world of Mario. As they cruised past 10,000 feet in the air, the voice of Nintendo's iconic Mario announced a big early holiday surprise for the passengers. Quickly, all were presented with a few free... Uh, you know, that's another big thing. Free? Nintendo, like... As much as I'm not a fan of Mario, this video is really just to give a lot of props to the way Nintendo's been marketing their shit lately. They've been all over the place, pushing it into any orifice that they can fit themselves into. And I honestly feel like this is an aggressive campaign that we expected. The failure of the Wii U has a fire under Nintendo's ass right now. And they know Mario's one of their biggest sellers. They're pushing so hard, and it's so reassuring to see them take this stance, man. Of course, the Nintendo Switch, big reason why they're doing this, and I think it's amazing. But taking over of a flight, I've never heard of that before. What other company do you know hijacks planes, my nigga? They hijacked the plane. Don't give me that bullshit. Oh, it wasn't that serious. No, they took over a goddamn flight in progress, nigga. And what do you hear was on the damn flight in the first place? Quickly, all are presented with a free Nintendo 3DS, a new Nintendo 3DS XL system to take home, along with a voucher to download the recently launched Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS game free from the Nintendo eShop. Nintendo reps help the passengers play and create side-scrolling 2D Mario. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, this is the part that I want you to take a look at. Among those lucky passengers offering in-flight game tips was I Justine, a Nintendo fan and YouTube celebrity whose followers measure in the millions. Niggas hijacked a plane with I Justine? What, is, what the fuck? Hold on a second, Nintendo. If I okay, if you're gonna do something like this similar with the Nintendo Switch, you better let me know which flight that is. I'll book my tickets in advance, nigga. I'll get them shits first class, so I get two 3D. No, no, not two 3D. I get two switches, nigga. Give me them two switches, bro. 
you boys can't be doing this shit with the switch, man. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a jet myself, man. Fly into that motherfucker. They're gonna be arresting my ass as soon as we touch the ground. But it don't matter. I'll do it just to be able to get me a free Nintendo Switch. Isn't this an awesome? marketing campaign. They knew I just team was going to talk about it and the media was going to be all over this. Nintendo, man, reaching into whole new prospects that other game companies never approach. These guys always know how to put on a show. That's why I can't get enough of Nintendo, man. Th these dudes are the fucking showstoppers. They're the showboats, my boy. Once the flight landed in Los Angeles, Mario himself was waiting to welcome them at the gate. So overall, Nintendo, good shit on the promotion of your brand. You've been killing it. This is life that we expected, but man, at the same time, it was kind of unforeseen that you guys would go so heavy. I'm looking forward to see what 2017 has to offer, man. And guys, even though it has Mario at the face of it, I'm not too much of a Mario head. I'll still admit, this is pretty damn awesome. Guys, I will talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.